flower turbines, wind tulips, are designed to produce clean energy at low wind speeds from any direction, while still allowing people to live next to them, peaceful and quit, unlike other turbines. Flower turbines developed by Dr. Daniel Fard. It truly is a piece of art and science. Wind is a more efficient power source than solar. Compared to solar panels, wind turbines release less carbon dioxide to the atmosphere, consume less energy, and produce more energy overall. A wind turbine produces 4.64 grams of carbon dioxide in one kilowatt hour, while the solar panel produces 70 grams of carbon dioxide in one kilowatt hour. In fact, one wind turbine can generate the same amount of electricity per co as about 48,704 solar panels. Solar panel needs sunlight to produce power, and it does not produce power during nighttime, while wind turbines can produce power day and night. Solar panels need cleaning and service due to dust. Wind turbines also need service but not often as solar panels. So you might think that if the wind source is better than solar, why we don't see them much around. Have you ever thought why the giant wind turbines are placed out of the cities or far away from our homes? Yes, that's right, because they are very noisy and need large space to build. The giant turbines uses the power generator, which called lift. Lift is the force that maintain airplanes and even birds in the air. So that's why it makes noise. Flower turbines are much more than just beautiful pieces of eco and art. They are very quiet, environmentally friendly, start at low wind speeds, and do not need to turn towards the wind to maximize their power output. The flower turbine's efficiency and ability to be placed in a cluster increases its neighbor's performance. With this revolutionary step in the world of wind energy, these turbines have the potential to produce more power per square meter than solar in windy areas. Its patented design, aerodynamics and quality materials ensure a good cost of ownership and durability, outperforming other turbines in situations of low wind speeds. And the most special advantage of flower turbines are, they are very friendly with the wild. The flower turbine has different sizes for different purpose of livings. Blade size, 5 meters. Height, 6 meters. Potential output which can be vary per wind speed. 6,000 to 12,000 kilowatt hour per year, which could be used for companies, farms. Blade size, two meters. Height, three meters. Potential output, which can be vary per wind speed, 1,000 to 4,000 kilowatt hour per year, which could be used for companies and privates, ground and strong roofs. Blade size, one meters. Height, one meters. Potential output which can be vary per wind speed, 250 to 1,000 kilowatt hour per year, which could be used for boats, campers, emergencies, residences. According to DC News, now flower turbines passes $2.5 million in current round. There are some disadvantages of wind source power as well. It could be dangerous if it's not been fit properly or in very strong wind. It requires sufficient amount of metal and expensive for upfront cost, which can be about three to $5,000 per kilowatt of energy capacity, which comes to around $15,000. The idea behind flower turbines was conceived by Dr. Daniel Farr almost eight years ago. He signed up for Port XEL, the Rotterdam startup program designed to help innovative and sustainable companies move forward. After a successful pitch in the Netherlands, he got in touch with Ozinga. Today, at least 83 countries use wind energy commercially, with over 300,000 generators accounting for about 4% of the world's electricity needs. On average, a smaller single wind turbine's lease cloud be valued at around $8,000 per year, with a larger turbine bringing between $50,000 to $80,000 per year. Study shows expected cost declines of 37%, to 49% by 2050. Let's compare the flower turbines with other wind turbines. First, other small wind turbines need winds of about three meters per second to start generating electricity. The wind tulip, on the other hand, can start generating electricity from wind traveling only two meters per second. 
Second, most wind turbines aren't nice to be around, and neighbors hate them. But the wind tulip operates with very low noise and vibration, which means it can be installed near people and on top of buildings. Third, most wind turbines need to be placed far apart to be effective. Whereas several wind tulips can be placed close together, enhancing each turbine's power. This means the wind tulip offers the highest value per square meter of any small turbine, so it is the most cost-effective choice for the roof of a commercial property. Fourth, wind turbines can be dangerous to be around, but the wind tulip is highly visible, making it safe for both wildlife and people. Fifth, the majority of wind turbines stand out like a sore thumb, but the wind tulip beautifully designed and will enhance the aesthetics of your property. The wind tulip's clean and modern design may even improve property value. At very least, it will be very cheaper to zone a wind tulip compared to traditional small turbines. As an added bones, many places in the world have special subsides or tax benefits for small wind energy. This makes purchasing the wind tulip a smart financial choice. There are more than 8,000 parts to one wind turbine, and they can have an operational lifespan of up to 25 years, most last around 20 to 25 years. They can mostly be recycled at the end of this working life and have increasingly been made from reused materials that have already been recycled. Demonstrations and initial customer installations can be spotted across the Netherlands, Germany, Israel, and the United States. For instance, in Rotterdam, flower turbines supply power for public e-bike charging stations. Meanwhile, the Dutch military relies on another installation. Nevertheless, the startup continues to secure funding for the launch of large-scale production, making it an attractive investment opportunity for some. Aeromine Technologies also offers its unique take on rooftop structures. It's worth noting that these installations are entirely bladeless. Even when you stand nearby, you won't detect any sound or vibration. Let's simplify how Aeromine Technologies turbine operates. Essentially, the design comprises two aerodynamic profiles, aerofoils. When the wind flows through them, it generates areas of high and low air pressure. The low pressure zone, forming at the center of the structure, effectively draws air inward. To harness this valuable energy, concealed pipelines run inside the turbine structure, housing electric generators equipped with blades. Thus, the airflow generates electricity. It's essential to highlight that Aeromine's solution is primarily intended for flat roofs. However, this doesn't rule out their application in residential complexes, although they are better suited for industrial facilities, warehouses, logistics centers, manufacturing plants, office complexes, and large shopping malls. The structure's dimensions can be tailored to match the roof's technical specifications and aesthetic requirements. The project shows such promise that BASF, the world's largest chemical manufacturer, has undertaken testing. Based on the results from their Michigan facility, it's evident that Aeromine installations are 50% more efficient than conventional solar panels often deployed in similar settings.